Good evening. Welcome to my channel. Well, we have reached a um, marvellous milestone, which is that this is the 150th short story that I've presented on this channel. Um, so to celebrate that occasion, I thought I'd give myself an extra layer of challenge. Now, as some of you may know, um, a lot of these stories are generated by an unusual strategy of um, coming up with random words from a website that delivers random words and then having an idea sort of pop into mind based upon the associations of those words. So for this 150th story, I decided to make it exactly 150 words long. So it's very short, um, but what I also wanted to do was to use uh, 15 random words. Now the website can only produce a minimum of two random words. I'm not sure why, but um, so I've basically had them, I discovered these words in pairs and I sort of dwelt upon each pair and then came up with a 10 word sort of sentence that added to the narrative for each pair. And I also tried to make it coherent and have some narrative and a sense of place. Yes, that's a lot to ask. Um, so this is something of a challenge. Um, hopefully I've met that challenge. Only you can decide. If you do enjoy what I come up with in this story, I would love it if you are not a subscriber, if you could subscribe, perhaps share it with friends, um, like it, make a comment, just prove that you're there, you know. Sometimes I feel like I'm shouting into the void, but it'd be nice if somebody were to shout or whisper back. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the words up on the screen and then as it comes to the next section that will feature those words, they'll be highlight in some interesting way. We'll see if that works. I don't know. Um, so anyway, the words are... And they're going to stay there throughout this piece. So the question is, can I hit those words? Can I make it meaningful? Can I tell a story that's interesting in any way? Who knows? So this is tale number 150, and it's called The Wash. Western seaside dwellers are spoilt. Only one place on the east coast offers a picture-perfect sea sunset, and it's the wash. As coastal floodplains form and reform, this region of fen and fog offers a slight escape from gravity's relentless tyranny. Those of a morbid disposition might see will-o'-the-wisps here, or a lone rider hoisting a lantern, walking the zigzagging dikes. The stately heron, godfather of all waders, patrols the reeds, the tide a wholesaler of wriggling provender and trapped lamfreys. Local sages abound, offering homespun wisdom and curative potions, entertaining customers with a willing ear. Take golden ragwort for pain. Wear this charm to ward off the rider whose lantern may be the last light you'll see. Normal for Norfolk. Pine cones jostle like maracas among the salty dunes, while a scouring wind removes the deep footprints of morning dog walkers. Here comes that honeyed light, caramel coloured. It shines for you. <laughs> so, yes, rather a strange, surreal, spooky little piece. Um, but I did set myself something of a challenge, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you have been to that part of the world, you can let me know if you thought I captured it well enough. Um, I've spent a bit of time um, around uh, wells next to the sea and um, clay next to the sea and uh, Hunt Stanton, bits, places like that. Anyway, uh, that was story number 150, folks. Maybe there'll be 150 more. We'll see. At some point, this channel may achieve breakthrough. I'd like to get to 100 subscribers. That would be a good first target. So if you aren't a subscriber and you did enjoy this, you know what to do. And I'll see you again with a short story or a little discursive piece very soon. Thanks for listening. Bye.